<laughs> oh, looks like game day beers variety pack is back this year. Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain and we are gonna run down through all four of these in this video. Let's see, I think game day beers, I think it's only a couple of years old now. I, I know we had one last year. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember how many times this has been put out under this name. Um, it's basically, it, it's not the spring pack, but it's, it, it comes out in between. Uh, I'm trying to think if they've done, they've done a couple of other variety packs, like in between seasons, randomly here and there. And, um, yeah, this one was usually pretty solid. Uh, of course, football being the big thing. We got Cold Snap, Alpine Lager. Golden Goat, which is new in this pack, and Boston Lager, and I think that's the order we're going to do them in based on um, IBUs. We'll go from low to high on that. Uh, I don't think any of these particular styles are going to be too too heavy or dark, so we'll just line them up by the IBUs. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure Boston Lager is going to be the darkest, heaviest one in the pack. So, um, yeah... Let's get started with Cold Snap. This one's been out for a few years. It's a white ale, 5.3% ABV, and 10 IBUs. Uh oh, did I screw this up? Oh, well, of course, the IBUs aren't on the box, just on the bottle. All right, well, I know the Boston Lager's at 30. For some reason, I thought one of these was in the single digits, but either way. Here we go. Committed to this course of action already. Cold Snap has been, I believe, basically a spring beer for them for a while. That somewhat hazy and cloudy, fairly effervescent. It's got a nice yellowish tinge to it that continues all the way up through the beer, even where it gets thicker up the top there. It's got an odd aroma to it. That's been, it hasn't been that long since I had Cold Snap. Maybe last spring, and there were a few leftovers, so throughout the summer maybe. An interesting aroma. It's it's grainy, but it's almost a little musty. Yeah, maybe a little musty, but definitely grainy. Fairly light though. Nice light mouthfeel. Again, lots of graininess to it. Not um, not in a heavy way though. Light and airy, and on the back end, that hint of mustiness is coming through. It's not necessarily a bad thing or an unpleasant thing, but it's just kind of there, and it's catching me by surprise. I, huh, maybe this is what Cold Snap has been before. I'm trying to think back of the last time I've had it, if it tasted anything like this, but again, it's not bad. It's just for pro surprising for a lighter beer to have that kind of flavor in there. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. It's just grainy and slightly musty. There's nothing else really going on with it. Maybe maybe just a touch of citrus in there, um, but it's not bad. I'm gonna hit this with a three and a half out of five. On a scale of one to five, I'll try to say this only once during this video. Three and a half is somewhat above average. Two and a half would be average, so. Three and a half makes this a very nice, decent, above average beer. It's very drinkable. It's a game day beer, which is kind of the whole point of this pack. Most of these beers tend to be um, ones that even your non-craft beer loving friends would would easily be able to drink without a problem. So, all right, I'm gonna finish this one up and we're gonna move on to the Alpine Lager. 
All right, <clears throat> now, finish that one off, cleansed with some water. Always cleanse the palate in between beers when we do multiple ones in a night. We're now doing the Alpine Lager. So this here, brisk and smooth, 5.5% ABV, 18 IBUs. So maybe there wasn't a single digit one in here, so I think I got it going right. I believe the Alpine Lager was actually new in a spring pack. Just within the last couple of years. This is a relatively new beer from Sam Adams, so I do remember enjoying it. So let's get a good look at it. Yeah, that one's got more of a brownish orange tinge to it. So we are getting a little darker in character. Slightly more effervescent. I'm seeing more bubbles coming up from that than the last one. Still pretty cloudy and hazy. Then every freaking beer you see these days is at least a little cloudy and hazy. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I just I miss the days of all the clear beers. I don't know. Nothing too forward in there. A little graininess. Slightly roasty, maybe. Hmm. Also a nice light mouth feel. A little smoky, maybe. It's got a different type of graininess than the last one. A little heavier. Um, it's a light mouth feel, but in terms of flavor, it's got like a darker grainy flavor. And again, with a hint of smoke. Obviously easy to drink. Pardon. Yeah, and I'm not getting much else from it. Um, just kind of a plain old nice slightly smoky roasty lager <laughs> ooh pardon hit that one with a three and a half out of five as well and it's it's a slightly above average beer there's nothing too crazy going on with it um, but there's nothing offensive about it either it's just kind of kind of there Again, a nice, easy-going beer that folks who aren't necessarily into craft beer are going to enjoy drinking. So, anyway, I'm going to finish this one up, and we're going to move on to Golden Goat. The label says crisp and easy, so I think we're dealing with the third beer of the same type. All right, we'll grab that one in just a minute or two. All right, so now we are up to a Golden Goat, and of course it's G-O-A-T. Crisp and easy, 5% uh, ABV, 20 IBUs. Now this is a new one, so I'm going to go ahead and read the label on this one. Let the cheering begin. Golden Goat is your craft champ from the game whistle to overtime. This easy drinking lager will be your number one pick on game day to keep you refreshed and coming back for more. So I'm guessing, based on that and the way this pack seems to be going, this is going to be yet another beer flavored beer. <clears throat> Ooh, what was that I was saying earlier about missing clear beers and that everything was hazy these days? It is a little bit cloudy, but it is definitely not hazy like those others. Nice light and yellow, and the yellowness actually continues on up into the head. It's just the way the light's refracting up through there, but if I look at it, I can see yellow, a little yellow tinge to those bubbles up there. Somewhat effervescent. There's a decent amount of bubbles coming up. Didn't retain any sort of head though, so it fades quickly. Hmm. 
there's something there that I can't place. Uh, there's a light graininess, but there's something... And something almost pungent underlying it. Hmm. Yeah. Light, crisp, easy to drink. Smooth finish. Light, light mouthfeel. That is just going down quick. Now it's only at 20 IBUs, so I don't think there's going to be a ton of hop character, but there is something that pungent aroma. There's like an almost dankness to the flavor. Seriously, it's like a weedy dankness. Huh. I mean, unless the only hops they used were those with the dank flavor. Pardon. Because I mean, there's definitely nothing else in there that would indicate that they used marijuana or hemp. But yeah, there is a distinctly weed-like dankness to that. I mean, otherwise, not bad. I don't know why I said otherwise. I mean, it's not it's not an unpleasant flavor in and of itself either. It's just different and unexpected. But again, easy drinking beer, nothing spectacular. Uh, I'm going to hit this one with a three and a half out of five as well. Pardon. Now, the Boston Lager is not going to be any surprise to me or anybody else who's seen at least one of these videos. So, I mean, the hiccups are trying to break through here. Out of this pack, we've got three, you know, decent, slightly above average beers, but with nothing too crazy going on with them. Um, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to finish this one up, and then we'll grab the Boston Lager. All right, so here we are up to the Boston Lager. And this is a 5% uh, ABV beer with 30 IBUs. Starting to get the hang of this bottle. <laughs> Like I said, there shouldn't be any surprises on this one. We've talked about the Boston Lager in every one of these variety packs. Nice and caramel colored, slightly brown, somewhat effervescent. I didn't put a really good head on that one, but there are definitely some bubbles coming up from there. Also clear, not very hazy. I mean, slight, slight bit of haze, but not... A lot. Just has a crisp, clean aroma. Slightly grainy, slightly hoppy, just a little hint of hoppy bitterness in the aroma. Nice medium mouthfeel. Good amount of roasty, grainy flavor. Maybe a hint of sweetness. Just an overall hoppy bitterness that doesn't necessarily have any particular hop notes coming forward, but somehow seems to be a perfect blend of all together. Yeah, this one's always a 5 out of 5 for me. Not necessarily <clears throat> due to any particular flavor, but just the way that it's perfectly balanced, perfectly put together, and overall 
the beer itself is perfect. So, all right, that is the Game Day Beers Variety Pack for 2021. We'll see if it comes back. Or is it technically 2022? I mean, today is... Oh. <laughs> December 31st. I was going to say, it's not quite after midnight yet, so... Today is December 31st of 2021, so... I don't know, I mean... Technically, this being a seasonal, it's kind of like the cars that come out, you know? Technically for 2022, I think, but anyway. <sighs> Let's just say this year's game day beers, similar to what we've seen in the past, Boston Lager plus three other really easy drinking general beery beers that, again... You know, your non-craft beer loving friends will probably be able to drink. And it's a good way to introduce folks to craft beer. You know, say, hey, try this Alpine Lager, try the Cold Snap, try the Golden Goat. Get some of them to get on board with that one just because of the fucking name, I'm sure. And, uh, you know, <coughs> pardon. Once they realize that the craft beer world isn't such a scary place, maybe you can get them to try something else other than Budweiser next time. Anyway. <clears throat> Four pretty decent solid beers in the pack. Only one that I'm truly impressed by. The others are okay. I got nothing bad to say about them. Just not, you know, take it or leave it at this point. Looking for something more. But that's just what I have to say about them. Hit me up down below. The comments or the email link. Love to hear what you have to say. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Burp. Pardon. Lots of gas build up now. And um, like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Once you've subscribed, click on that little bell button to turn on your notification notifications so you'll know whenever I post a new video. Till next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.